Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see your all new Apple Watch Series 10 does not synchronize time correctly with Watch OS 11. Here is how you can simple fix this issue. So the step one is to check the time zone settings. So ensure that your time zone is set correctly to your iPhone. To check, you can simple go to iPhone settings. Now here, you can simple go to general. Here you can simple click on language, sorry, date and time, and then verify that the set automatic is enabled and the time zone is set to your location. Like my nearby location is Mumbai, so the time zone is set according to Mumbai. The next step is to check the location service. So make sure that the location service are turned on. To check, you can simple go to settings again. Now privacy. Here click on location and then make sure that the location service are enabled and your Apple Watch can access it. Okay, here you will find. The next step is to force restart your Apple Watch. So sometimes a simple restart can resolve many software glitches issue. To perform a force restart, you can simply long press the side button and restart from together until you see the Apple logo on the screen. Once you see the Apple logo, you can simply remove your hands from it and then you will find that your issue is resolved and the screen will again turns on. The next step is to force sync your Apple Watch. So close certain apps like uh, Apple Watch Activity app and Watch Face and Health app on your iPhone and then restart your iPhone and Apple Watch. This can restabilize the connection between devices. The next step is to unpair and repair your Apple Watch. So sometimes a simple unpairing and repairing can resolve many connection issues. To unpairing, you can simply open the watch app, click on my watches, all watches and then here you will find your Apple watch, tap on i button and now click on unpair an Apple watch and then this can reset the all network setting. Okay, the next step and the final step is to reset the net, reset the settings of your iPhone. To reset, you can simply go to general, then go to reset and now click on reset and then reset all settings and then try to and then wait for some times until it restart and then you will find that your issue is completely resolved. 